Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So we are still on lockdown and there's some work that needed to be done on the BMW. So I had to replace the front brake pads on the BM. I've never done it before so I did do a quick few checks on um, YouTube on what to do. So if you guys really want to see the professional way of doing it you can always go and check it out yourself. Otherwise if you don't have all the tools you need then this is the channel for you. Okay. And if you stick around long enough I'll show you, I've got balls of steel, promise. So let's get to it. Hi guys, subscribe to my channel now so that you do not forget. Hit that bell icon and get notified of my further uploads. Lastly, feel free to comment. Show me some love by giving me a thumbs up at the end of the video. Okay guys, so I had to do this whole voiceover thing since there was a lot of noise and stuff outside yesterday while I was recording this. So the first thing that we want to do is to take the brake reservoir and open up the cap. The reason why you want to open up the cap is so that when we go and push back the brake calipers or the piston, then it's going to push all that brake fluid that's in your system out to the bottle. And if the cap is closed, it's going to make it more difficult for you to push out the fluids because it's closed. So you have to open up the cap. So as you can see, as I was pushing back the piston, all the brake fluid started coming out of the bottle. So always remember to wipe off the access and make sure that the brake fluid doesn't fall on the paint of your car because it will eat up the paint. Up next will be to take uh, out the special nut that's on your BMW's wheels. Most BMW's have got the special bolt that's in your car. So you'll have the special nut in the back of your trunk that you can use to loosen those. So always remember to loosen all your nuts before you actually lift the car. There you can see me using that special nut to take out the bolt that's holding the mag in place. And the wheels do sometimes get stuck. So have a rubber mallet ready to hit it from the inside so that you can get the hub or the wheel off the hub. Since I don't have a solid piece of ground to work on, I took two bricks to put the bricks underneath the car. It also rained the night before, so the lawn was wet. So to prevent the jack from sinking into the, into the ground, remember to put two bricks at the bottom. Now according to the manual, I'm supposed to have a, a block at the bottom where your jack fits into. As you can see, my block is gone. So I had to jack it up the only way that I could. Just be careful that when you jack it up, that your jack doesn't touch the bottom of your car like this because it's going to scratch the paint. And try and see if you can fit the jack in more securely or in a better position so that when you jack up the car that you don't damage it. And it's always a good idea to have a secondary jack handy. Here you can clearly see the block that I was talking about. On the other side at least I have one. So you see the jack fits nicely in there and then you know it won't slip out in any way or form. So it's more secure. Okay, two things here. As you can see, I put a secondary jack under the car for safety's sake because I cannot have my stand under the car. The stand doesn't fit. And always try and remember to turn the wheel of your car once it's off to the furthest side so that your brake caliper is out for easy access. The normal way to take these calipers off, according to the mechanics manual, is to take a size 7 allen key, 7 millimeter allen key, and then you take off these caps and there's an allen key behind it. And then you just screw out the allen keys and the whole caliper system comes off. Then you can just remove the discs. Also, you can use a screwdriver to push the piston back. And remember, when you push the piston back, the brake fluid will go up the top. The other alternative is to use a G-clamp. The G-clamp works much better for me because the G-clamp pushes the piston in far enough. If you don't push the piston far enough, the new brake shoes won't fit over the disc. Okay, once you push the pistons back a bit, you can take a um, spanner and loosen those bolts. There's two bolts, one at the top, one at the bottom. Since I don't have a size 7 Allen key, I put the caps back and I just removed the entire caliper all together. Took the shoes out and put the new shoes in. After I took the old shoes out, I washed and cleaned the whole caliper and then I put some copper slip inside the grooves where the pistons are going to move or where the brake shoes are going to move just to make it move easier and slide more yeah just to make it slide easier when you brake 
Like I said, this is interesting. The side where my sensor is has been cut. The sensor hasn't been working for a very long time. So I don't know how the lights on my dashboard was off the whole time and then suddenly came on showing me that the brakes were finished. But now the sensor is cut. So I'm going to have to buy a new sensor and see what's going on. Okay, so once you've cleaned everything and replaced all the discs, you put back the calipers, you tie up the bolts, and although the sensor is still in a good condition, there's no point in having it, it didn't even work. So I'm gonna have to check that box out, see if it's maybe been breached out somewhere, buy a new sensor, put the new sensor in eventually, and so on. But otherwise, I'm just gonna put the wheels back, and tie up all your nuts remember to make everything nice and tight and then you can lower the car down back onto the ground so that's that my first time doing brakes on a bmw it's actually the same as my opal didn't do anything different or anything strange did it the same way as i did the opal but yeah now the brakes has been changed and i'm quite happy with the brace it is at the front so here we are as promised my balls of steel i told you i've got balls of steel I didn't lie. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you very much. Give me a thumbs up if you loved this video. Um, remember to subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell icon if you want to get notified of any more videos and stuff that I put on. And keep it safe, guys. Thanks for watching, and then I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.